Hello everybody, welcome back to Zombie Zoology. This is the next in my series called Take a Minute for Chronic Illness, where I do very short videos to educate people about chronic illness. Now there is something that lots of able-bodied people seem to get mad at sick or disabled or otherwise medicated people for, and it's very unfair. This is something called medicine fatigue. <music> Medicine fatigue is when you are on some sort of medication that you have to take every day for an extended period of time. I'm not talking about like a 10 day course of antibiotics, I'm talking about depression meds, pain meds, something you have to take every single day in order for it to be effective and something you really need to function. Now there's lots of criticism that disabled people will get when they go off of their meds. And there are lots of reasons a disabled person will go off of their meds. I'm not talking about when a doctor will switch you from one med to another. I mean when, for seemingly no reason, somebody who needs a certain medication will stop taking it. And people around them often be very judgmental of this decision, or not decision, just this, uh, this course of action. And oftentimes people will get mad at the person who's gone off with their meds. I know it can be really frustrating to see someone you care about kind of self-sabotage in this way, but I want you to understand that there's this thing called medicine fatigue. If you are on a medicine you have to take every day, at some point or another, you're going to experience medicine fatigue, and that is where, for whatever reason, you stop taking your meds, and it is not because you sit there and think, yes, I think this is gonna be a good idea to stop taking my meds. No, no one thinks that, especially not if the meds are working, but, it's really, really hard to take medicine every day. And I know that may not seem logical, especially if it's medicine that helps you. But after a long time of taking medicine, you start to question whether it's working at all because it makes this baseline your new normal. So it can be really frustrating and people can get frustrated with themselves, frustrated with their situation, and for whatever reason, go off of their meds. And as soon as you're off of your meds, it becomes very hard to get back onto your meds because the kind of meds that you need to take every day to work tend to be really hard to get back onto. They tend to have really severe side effects when you first start them. So after you've missed your meds a couple times, it becomes harder and harder to get back on them. And this is the root of medicine fatigue. And it's a really unsettling thing because it feels like you didn't make the decision but somehow it happened and now everyone is mad at you and your body is mad at you and your doctors are mad at you but if you start it again you know you're going to be miserable and at some point you just have to make the choice to be miserable to go ahead and take the medicine and grit and bear it and be out of commission for a couple of days while you deal with the side effects and it's so frustrating the last thing a disabled person needs while dealing with getting over medicine fatigue is for outside forces to be mad at them that's just going to put more anxiety on it more stress and it's going to cause them to shut down more if you force them to suddenly take all of their meds at once, they're going to get very, very sick and you don't want to be responsible for that. So that is medicine fatigue. Now you know some of the pitfalls of it and the way it can be pretty devastating to somebody with a disability. And I hope this will help you in your interactions in the future. And until next time, hoard those spoons, guys.